So the first inspection seemed to go pretty good without using any smoke and causing minimal disruption. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with the no smoke approach on the second hive and uh, check the sugar water level, uh, take a quick peek at the frames and get out as quick as I can without disturbing the bees too much. This has got a little more honey in it, uh, neck syrup in it than the other one did. Uh, I see some burr comb right there at the top. Let me give this away. See how much we've got left. So we've got right at four pounds of uh, syrup left in this one. About, about three pounds, 14 ounces, something like that. So, I think this bucket had a little more syrup in it than the other one to begin with. Uh, maybe about a pound more, pound and a half more, so it's probably just about the same amount of syrup being used in both hives. I'm seeing some burr comb right here. Bees aren't really looking at me. I don't see any guard bees on guard, so uh, I'm going to open this up and see if we can look at those frames. You see that burr comb being made right here. I'll get rid of that before I put it back together. A bit of burr comb here on top of this frame. A few bees on this frame, but nothing going on really. This bumblebee is back. I don't know why this thing is coming around here. Nothing really going on on the second frame end. No activity to speak of on the third frame end. the outside of the fourth frame in. A few bees uh, walking around but not really drawing any comb on this. Now we're starting to see drawn comb on the fourth frame in. Let's see what looks like a supersedure cell here. Right here or maybe that's just I don't, think, I don't know if it's a cell or if it's just comb being drawn out weirdly. I do see a comb being drawn out. There's a lot of nectar in this comb, nectar or syrup. Now this is not a supersedure cell, this is just some weird comb, so I'm going to take that off. I don't really see any I don't really see any larva or set or uh, eggs, I don't think, on that. No sign of the queen yet. I'm going to put this back in and move on to the next one. So 
to a fifth frame in. From the right. This is pretty heavy. A lot of bees here. I see pollen cells. I see nectar. inside of that frame. I see some cap cells right here. Um, maybe that's honey. I don't know. Um, it looks like honey cells. I don't see the queen yet. I don't see the queen yet. Uh, I see bees inside the cells, head down, cleaning things out or feeding. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, feeding uh, larva or eggs. But yeah, it looks like some capped honey on this one. I'm going to put this back in. I'm actually spending more time in here than I thought I would be just because it's fun. The uh, queen cage is empty. That's a good sign. It's the inside of the sixth frame in from the right. I don't see the queen on here. Oh, I do see the queen on here. She is right there. Right there. So that's good. I see eggs. <coughs> Excuse me, I see eggs in here. Lots of eggs. So she's doing some laying. I don't really notice any larva, but there's a lot of bees on here and it's hard to tell. Lots of eggs though. This whole section right here is all eggs. I'm not sure if that's going to pick up at all or not. So that's the sixth frame in from the outside on the right hand side, or to my right now. And that's where the queen was, and that's my first definite sign of eggs on this one, I think. Seventh frame in from the right hand side fourth frame in from the left hand side. Lots of bees on there. I see a lot of pollen. And nectar. And comb being drawn. I don't really see any larva for sure. A little bit of comb starting to be drawn here on the right hand side, down by my right hand, right over here. And some right in the middle. So, I'm going to put this back in. Don't expect to see much of anything here. Some bees, maybe cleaning up the frame or something. I'm not sure what they're doing over here on this empty frame yet, but uh, no comb being drawn that I can see. And I'm expecting that to be the same with these 
remaining two, so I'm not going to pull those out. I'll just leave those little bees alone. I'm going to close this back up now. Give these bees some peace. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, so some capped honey actually it looked like. Um, definitely some eggs and I'm not sure whether there was larva, larva or not. I didn't definitely find any wet larva but lots of eggs being laid it seemed like. So watch out girls I'm going to get this little bird thing off here. Get that off of there. So, I'll put this back together now. I'll take this berth home off. Again, installing this inner cover basically upside down so that because I have a because I have a sort bucket up here I don't want the bees coming in the top entrance through here so I'm putting the uh, top entrance the inner lid upside down so the top entrance goes directly into the frames that may be the cause of uh, what's encouraging this bird comb to be built that's okay at least uh, the bees have access because if I just left, if I had the entrance up here to the top side of the inner lid with this bucket on here, the bees have no place to go. So this way they can have access to the frames. Back together now. Need to get out. Need to get out. Need to get out. Otherwise, you'll be trapped. Cover it up, and I'll come back and replenish some of the sugar syrup later. And there it was. So I'm pretty happy with that. It was good to see some uh, eggs being laid. The queen's out and active. So that was my first inspection since the queen release. It's been six days since the queen was released. This is the 11th day uh, on the uh, package uh, since the packages were installed. And um, I did see some eggs. I may have seen some uh, larvae. Wasn't quite sure because there were a lot of bees on the frame and I didn't really want to interrupt them to brush them off to really look that closely so I just let it go for now and I'm just assuming that the bees are doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, on this hive I did see some um, some honey cap near the brood nest uh, so that was good. I saw a lot of pollen. I saw a lot of nectar slash sugar water being stored in cells. Um, saw both queens. They seem to be uh, busy and doing what they're supposed to do. So uh, overall it was a good visit, good inspection. And uh, I'm going to give them another probably five, six days before I look at them again, where I'll hope to see some cap brood by that time. And uh, got another probably 15 days before I would expect any brood to be hatching. So I still will continue to see dwindling numbers in the in the colony size, I expect. Um, but anyway, it was a it was a it was a fun inspection and uh, good overall, I think.